Sorry, just stop there because I'm just waiting to see how loud the, the rain is. Can people hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Brilliant. So did you notice I paused? <laughs> no, so you can tell the difference when I'm not. <laughs> so, no, that is, that's like a test. Ladies and gentlemen, just so you're aware, in a way, this show is also a kind of an experiment in the imagination. So if some of you here don't have a very good imagination, <laughs> this isn't going to be a comfortable uh, journey for you. Um, it will help a bit. And those of you who've got a good imagination, you're going to really enjoy it. So, uh, fantastic. <laughs> Obviously, if, you know, halfway through, you go, oh, actually, yeah, no, that's really difficult, this show, for me to imagine into, just leave. Um, <laughs> watch the water rise. And as we watch the water rise, we would have our thumbs up looking at each other like this. we just stand there like this, looking at each other. And then, when the water was just below the height of the dam, we would then grab sticks, run back into the river and bash the dam down, bash it down, bash it down, until the water ran really quickly downstream. And then we would stand in it like this, pretending that we were surfing. <laughs> the last ones trickle until eventually there's absolutely no one left on the platform. There's a little piece of London left just for me. I'm there with my bag. I walk forwards, I walk backwards, and I walk sideways. And I even stop and look at London upside down. I get to the end of the platform and I look at the last carriage and the last carriage the window is dirty and pressed up against the dirty window is Glyn Williams the ticket collector and he's drawing a picture of a bird onto the dirty window with his finger he doesn't see me and so I press my face up right against the window he's startled and when he's startled he's vulnerable and in that space of vulnerability I just do this <laughs> <laughs>